Uh, what are the objectives of the course? Here's what I want you to take away from this course. First of all, I want you to kind of understand the what and the why of AngularJS. So I'm not really going to cover the what part of it, right? I'm going to explain what is AngularJS, but I'm also going to explain why AngularJS was even created. What is the problem that it's trying to solve? Okay, then uh, we're going to understand the fundamental concepts. There is a lot of conceptual learning that you're going to have to do before you really grasp what Angular is trying to do. So I'm going to cover all those concepts so that you're familiar with what you're writing when you're writing code. Um, I'm also going to be covering the best practices and recommendations. This is especially important because Angular has been around for a while. Uh, it's been many years since it was released and there have been multiple versions of Angular. And there have been a lot of new features that I've introduced uh, in those different versions. And uh, here's the other tricky part. There have been features that were introduced in the older version, which are actually discouraged from use, right? So there are certain concepts that were present in the earlier versions of Angular, and they're actually still present today. But the best practices do not recommend using those features. So what I'm gonna do is kind of cover the learnings that the Angular community has had over the years and kind of present the latest best practices, the latest recommendations about how you need to build applications using Angular. And then finally, this is probably the biggest objective that I have in mind when I designed this course. I want you to be able to learn to think in AngularJS. So this is the reason for the title of this course, Thinking in AngularJS 1. In a way, it's a tribute to one of my earliest programming books that I've read, which was Thinking in C. Um, the reason why I've called this course that way is AngularJS kind of requires a new way of thinking in order to really effectively use it, right? So there is a certain amount of paradigm shift that needs to happen. So if you're taking this course, I'm assuming you come from one of two possible backgrounds. A, you have a complete server-side background and you're getting into front-end web development for the first time. Or B, you have some front-end web development knowledge, but not exactly Angular knowledge, and you've built applications using things like jQuery or uh, YUI or whatever, and you're kind of getting into Angular for the first time. So in both these cases, there is a little bit of a paradigm shift that needs to happen. Until fairly recently, the most voted question on Stack Overflow for the topic AngularJS was, how do I think in AngularJS if I come from a jQuery background? And uh, there were so many people who voted it and there were so many good responses. I'm gonna to link to that in a later video, but it is actually a problem because AngularJS requires a different kind of thinking. And I've designed this course in such a way that I'm gonna cover that foundation first. I'm gonna help you think in a particular way in order to learn AngularJS so that uh, once you get that basic thinking, right, the rest of the stuff that you need to learn becomes fairly simple. And one of the biggest complaints that people have with AngularJS is that it's ha it has a fairly steep learning curve. But this in place, by learning how to think in terms of AngularJS, by well, like having that paradigm shift, you're gonna have a much easier learning curve than some of your other colleagues who have had to go through all this stuff um, before having the concepts, the fundamental concepts ready. So in a sense, this is not gonna be a quick start course, right? We're not gonna just dive in there and start writing code. And this is especially the case because AngularJS is a little bit different from some of the other frameworks that you have encountered. But stick with this. Once we get through these basic concepts, the rest of your learning is gonna be very, very easy. And uh, you will hopefully realize that this was worth it.